In this video, I'll be outlining the balance method for solving the S2L on your Megamix, and this is actually a reasonably different approach to the Westland and Yudahyun methods. For the Westland and Yudahyun orders of solving your S2L, essentially what you're doing is solving one colour at a time after you solve your F2L colour. But for the balance method, we're doing something, we're doing something a little bit different in that we're going to be solving edge corner edge blocks around our kind of third layer of the Megaminx to end up with five F2L pairs that we need to solve before our last layer. The Balint method was the method of Balint Bodor. He was a former uh, Megaminx world champion and world record holder. And so here is his approach to solving the S2L of the Megaminx. So like I said, we're going to be solving edge corner edge blocks around the cube, and there's going to be five of those. And I guess one thing to note with the Balint method is that you will be, it will be fairly freestyle. You can do a fair bit of block building and that sort of thing um, as you're building these edge corner edge pairs. Indeed, the way to be most efficient in building these edge corner edge blocks is to um, be pretty freestyle in terms of how you build them. So let's start out. We're going to build this edge corner edge block directly above an F2L pair that we've solved. So here we've got the um, white, purple and yellow block and we need to solve these three pieces just above them. So I'm going to start out by solving this yellow and orange here and then insert this pair. So now I've created this edge corner edge block above an F2L pair and then I rotate. I can do this yeah, rotate clockwise or anti-clockwise or rotate to the back. It doesn't really matter in what order you do them. But essentially, I'm going to be doing the same thing down here above this other F2L pair that I've built. So, for example, um, I want to find... Well, I'm going to do these two. So I'm going to do LU, L prime, U to pair up these two pieces. And then we can insert them like so. So now I've created this first edge corner edge block and this second edge corner edge block. Now I'm going on to here and I need to find my pieces. Um, so I've got this one which goes down there and then these two which go into this position. So again I've created another edge corner edge block above an F2L pair. Now next up I'm going to be solving these three pieces. So I'll insert that edge there. Then I'm going to be solving these two. And lastly, I need to solve these three pieces. So probably what I'll do is insert an edge. So this one, purple and light blue, down there. And then I need to solve these two pieces. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Sometimes the pieces that you're looking for as you solve more of these edge corner and edge blocks are actually in various other locations around the puzzle. So these are the two pieces that we want. So I can pair them up and then bring up the slot and place them in. So after we've solved these five edge corner edge blocks, um, using the Balint method for S S2L, you will get more of an idea of exactly what we're trying to do here. And essentially what we, essentially what we can do now is orient the cube such that our grey face, so our last layer, is on top. And if we look around the puzzle, we only have five kind of F2L slots that we need to fill. Three, four, and five. We just need to fill these five slots and then we get our last layer, and then we get to our last layer. So let's just do an example of this. We'll start out with these two, which belong in this slot here. And then these two belong in this back right slot. And this is really similar to three by three F2L pairing, except we have five slots and we have, um, I guess, five rotations of a U face before it gets around to um, the start. So it's a slight variation. But it's very similar to 3x3 F2L pairing in that you're keeping the uh, grey face on the top, so your last layer on top, and then kind of rotating around in the Y direction in order to insert these F2L pairs. So this next one here belongs down here. And I can go for these two. And then lastly, insert these two into this slot. 
like so. And now you'll see we've, in, we've solved our entire F2L and S2L and we're up to our last layer. So that is the Balint method for solving the S2L of the Megaminx.